Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sims 4 Dying Out. And it is 4.34 in the morning and Miss Ashley is trying to get some beauty rest, but she got a whole house full of kids and a whole house full of craziness. And <laughs> these little munchkins in Hitto, I'm dreading this episode because this is like the three musketeers almost, right? Like, but aren't they cute though? I don't even know what Tara, a oh, Skyla, oh my God, I'm gonna get them all confused. Skyla is doing right now. I guess she's having a dream. So she's getting like a skill point for that. And then we got Tara. And then we got little Braylon Jr. or BJ. I don't know what nickname we should give him. Bray Bray, BJ. Uh, I don't know. I don't like BJ. That sounds really crass. But um, <laughs> long story short, this is their room. And everybody's asleep right now. So the lights are off. But I gave them a little room. And we are currently broke. It's 305 simoleons in this bank. In our, in our household funds. And then I got three high chairs because, I mean, how else are we going to feed these three babies? And then we only had enough money off for one potty. So I put it out here. We're just going to take turns potty training them. But like I said, it's 434 and Ashley has to get up and do her mothering duties. So let's go on and get up, Ashley. I know, girl, but it's 430 in the morning, but you got to get it done. I just realized we could have sold these cribs. That probably would help financially uh, with some of the fun. So I read online, which I need to do that now and I keep forgetting to do that. So I am pre-recording this, um, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, <laughs> I'll be out of town. So, um, uh oh, I need to get into MC Command because I heard that you could take the um, MC Command. I, I heard you could take the notifications off. Notifications, all right, we are going to take them. We're going to turn them where they're okay enable disable no 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 okay go back go back go back go back uh i show notifications here we go we want to disable the mugs and then i think that should prevent us from getting these log errors over and over again because honestly from what i've read online it's not mc commands oh girl go ahead stuff with your bad self i heard it's not mc command ma that's that's the error it's mc command reacting with other you did not work on me i thought they said that's all i had to do i thought they said that's all i had to do oh gosh okay uh, we're gonna figure it out later mc command mcc settings uh, notification okay let's try this again show menu settings notification settings yes show notifications i just said no uh show mc error notices disable that mug i think that's it um show le notices yes disable that as well so hopefully i got everything birthday death all that other stuff i don't care about okay cool hopefully that'll work that's what I'm hoping. But anyway, she is currently, oh, she currently made sack lunch for somebody. I don't know who. Now she's going to go make breakfast, some French toast fair by. I know. She's probably like, I need some fun. And I was thinking that too. I was like, they, her and Braylon haven't been out like on a date night in forever. And we probably should, um, five, nine hours till it spoils. Okay. I'm going to put this in uh, her pocket because it's Janae's lunch, even though actually we need to make Audrina lunch. Even though Audrina's uh, aging up today. Uh oh, she needs to use the bathroom and. Go take a shower. Okay, she got it. You got it together, girl. I ain't got to tell you nothing. I ain't got to tell you nothing. All right. Well, okay. I guess I can let her take. She's been in a weird mood lately. So I think I'm gonna let her take a bubble bath when she's finished using the bathroom there. You could have finished using the bathroom, no girl. Okay, finish using the bathroom. She's gonna take a bubble bath and mommy's in here making breakfast. Um, But I think maybe you could even sack this up into a lunch without having to... um physically oh girl go ahead i thought she was gonna drop it on the floor i'm so impressed with you girl so i have a couple of ideas all right and i want to ask you guys your opinion about it so last friday um i did let me see can we put this in there yeah we can okay cool let all oh, all the babies are waking up hungry okay so ashley i know you're thinking you're about to eat right now darling but no who's not you about to get all these bad kids and oh goodness they're all waking up such a, <laughs> such a bad mood all right so which one is this let's do this tara tara going here let's put carrie here uh wait oh i'm doing it wrong okay get her lord have mercy and we're going to put down tara and then put down Braylon and then put down Skyla. All right. And then at that point, I'm going to grab them servings. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to grab a serving for actually, let's get them all in here first. And then I'll do all of that because that this whole ordeal is going to be an ordeal in itself. But anyway, I got an, a couple of ideas that I'm thinking about and I wanted to ask you guys because money is definitely going to be tight. So I did a, um, 
a, a showcase last week for the working ATM and I'm going to use it anyway in this game file because Audrina will be working at the restaurant um, for for a couple of I'm using my air quotes years not years but you know a couple of <laughs> uh, for a little bit uh, little girl little boy where are you going oh yeah look at her little bit I wanted to get this for her uh, bed clothes oh my gosh she is adorable look how cute she is I wanted to do something fun and whimsical because my daughter would totally do this for real, she would wear a tutu and a leotard for, for bed and she'd wear mixed match knee high socks. That's just what she would do. And so I wanted to do this for Janae. <laughs> I did. So anyway, so she's up right now. I'm gonna let her get something to eat. But um, I, I need to get the I'm going to put in I'm going to use the ATM anyway. But what I'm contemplating doing is letting the Tharps oh, and this is going to work my nerves. But I think that it might be a good idea for us to get a loan from that whole oh look how you coming to eat mama's food all right well, are we gonna get the other one ashley can you get the other one please i know i know i know you're hungry sweetie i'm trying no don't take her out oh y'all the musical chairs put tara down there and then go grab her serving let's go do this put tara okay so you're gonna put break okay are you kidding me all right and then let's go grab a serving for tara she's gonna go get her own y'all look at this grab a serving for skyla she gonna go get her own look at this she gonna go get her own y'all see that and then tara she's gonna get her own she was like mama i ain't got time to wait on you look how she would have but you know what y'all my son did this the other day he low-key reached up on his tippy toes and got like something i think it was like a cookie or a cup or something and i said oh toddlers do do that i literally said that to myself i was like okay toddlers do do that in real life <laughs> i'm coming sweetheart Okay, you know what? Why did I pay money for high chairs? Like real talk. Why did I pay money for high chairs? Uh, okay, will you please go grab a servant? Let me grab a servant for for Skyla, please. Go do that because this is not working for us. Skyla's. I know I'm trying to feed the poor baby. Okay, so I'm about to stress out just a little bit <laughs> because the kids are all getting on the floor. So I guess they're just going to go in and get their own food. I don't know. What is the point of me grabbing them food though? If they're just going and getting out on their own. But anyway, I did give them all makeovers, as you guys can see. Um, there's, <laughs> you'll be able to see all the outfits and stuff as they get up and everything, you know, and start getting dressed and all that stuff. But look at Skyla. She is upset right now. And Tara is in her little bedclothes. And little Bray Bray, little Braylon Jr. is down here on the floor. Of course, he's like, I'm just going to get my, I think he's the independent one. So, of course, he went over there and got his own food without me having to get it for him. But this is this is annoying me just slightly because I thought I would just be able to put them all in here and they would just get their food. No, I'm not letting you out, little girl. I'm not going to let you out. OK, so let me see. What can I do to make her sit in here? Why can't I just grab? OK, well, how, how am I supposed to do it? OK, I don't know where Janae is right now. So what I'm going to do is give her this food and that way she can have something to eat. Now you're going to eat that little mama, okay? That's your food. You go eat that. And then these two on the floor right here, Skyla. Okay, she just got her own food. All right, so she's eating her food on the floor. All right, maybe I shouldn't have worried about getting high chairs, y'all. That's what I'm thinking at this point. No, leave her alone, Ashley. Leave her alone. Okay, we are going to lecture her on misbehavior, though, because if you're hungry, darling, you're not going to sit there and, and do all of that. So let me see. Okay, she's eating. Okay. All right, aw. Now we're talking to her. She's like, I need you to get in the chair. All right, put her food up here. Look, Braylon's up too. He's like, what's going on? I know, Braylon. Go get you something to eat. All right, now put Skyla in there. There we go. All right, we're getting it together. All right, Braylon, darling. Go get you something to eat, sweetheart. Go get you something to eat. No, grab a serving of that. Don't get in the refrigerator. Go get a piece of cake. Braylon, you know better than that, dude. You got to keep your physique on point. We don't be sitting there grabbing food like that out the dog on fridge. Okay, so what is Ashley doing now? All right, Ashley. So everybody's eating. Cool. Now you go grab yourself a servant. And Jan Janae, what do you need to do, darling? She's over there. Why are you letting this child out? <laughs> Why, y'all? She needed to eat. Go eat that French toast, baby. No, don't go get another servant. Go eat that French toast. Did we really just, did we really just, what? what? <sighs> y'all, no, seriously. What is going on? This is going to irk me. This is going to irk me. All right, so the kids are going to school. Audrina is going to school. She didn't even get anything to eat. So Janae got the sack lunch. Um, yeah, she got the sack lunch. Poor Audrina didn't even get a sack lunch. So I'm thinking I'm going to have her go really quickly and go sack this up. Pack into a sack lunch before you go to school. 
Oh, no. No, she should not skip school. All right, so she can't pack into a sack lunch. She's about to go. It's going to be too quick. It's going to be too late. All right, so hopefully um, Tara, Skyla. Skyla will get her food. Okay, so just sit down and eat, darling. The struggles, y'all. And then where did I thought Ashley got food? Did she not get food? Seriously? Oh my gosh. So go grab a serving of this. Anyway, no, no cake. Okay, y'all. This cake about to get straight thrown in the trash. Why would you go get cake out the fridge when you got fresh French toast cooked right here? I don't get it. All right, so all the babies are eating and stuff. All right, cool. Braylon, you go get Tara out, please. You go get Tara out. Let her out. All right. All right, cool. Wait, why is Braylon going to get another servant? You that hungry, sweetheart? Yes, Cindy. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, I don't get it. But anyway, what I was going to say is maybe we should take out a loan and get Braylon an opportunity to own a bar. We would be running two different relationships. Okay, Amy, yeah. Um, we would be running, two, not running relationships, two different... <laughs> Two different professions, two different businesses, but I think it'll be interesting. And we definitely need some ways to get some more money in his family. So I know scavenging and stuff is an option, but I don't honestly, I don't like it because it doesn't feel realistic to me. You know, oh, thank you, Skyla. That was sweet. She put it up on her own. Now she's sleepy. What is going on? Okay, sweetheart, well, go, go get go to sleep then. Oh my goodness. And Braylon, what's going on with you, sweetheart? Go to sleep. No, no, Braylon. What? Where did he get that remote control from? Oh my gosh. Y'all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Parenting. Uh, help with needs. Okay. Uh, oh goodness. What? How, uh, toddler care. Yeah. Okay. Pause. 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 Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I straight made a mistake and clicked off of the screen. <laughs> Because I was trying to pause it so quick. Because he's listening to Braylon Jr.'s question. What is Braylon about to ask me? Little boy, no, you can't play in the trash. I'm about to come over here and tell you, no, thank you. No, that's not what we do. So friendly, we're not going to hug him lovingly. I'm about to, uh, there's no way I can discipline him from what he's doing right now. Toddler care. Uh, parenting. It's not giving me no option to discipline him. Okay, all right. Um, I, I can't ask him to clean himself off. He's a baby. So I guess let me go give him a bath. Um, hopefully Skyla will go give herself in the bed. Why is she still eating French toast? You should be good, baby girl. Go get you some sleep. And uh, Braylon is letting her out right now. So I'm going to have Braylon. What can she do? What's going on with her? She's, she's okay, she's going to need a bath too. So I'm going to give her a bath. What? Toddler care. What? What was that? Give her a bath too, Braylon. Wait, what? What is going on, y'all? I'm confused. Like, they're both, like, just stressed out. They both are stressed out. But anyway, what I was going to say, I asked Ashley to go give Braylon a bath. He said he don't want a bath? Is that what he just told me? Is that what you just told me, little bad boy? Counter bullying strategium. Okay, now that Audrina gets pretty good grades. Okay, she is going to ignore them because that's just Audrina. So I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But she ages up today, so I'm not even worried about it. But uh, my other option I was thinking is, okay, people were saying that I could, please don't put that child back. Okay, y'all, what in the world? Why can't I get a control over what's going on? I'm clearly saying, what is she doing? All right, let's do this. Say what? When answering a question, Audrina used forbidden words. It really shocked the teacher. Um... Audrina would not use forbidden words, but Audrina's been going through some weird mood changes lately. So I have to punish her, but she's about to age up like in hours. So I'm just going to go on and say punish her and her manners increase, but her emotional control decreases. I guess I don't know how to just say they're just bad. I don't, I don't even curse myself. So let alone have my kids curse. That's not going to happen. So I think I'm going to have to, for some reason, I'm like giving them commands and it's not working out for me too well. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to actually give a bath to Braylon. And then I'm going to have Braylon go give a bath to, which one needed a bath? I think it was Tara. Give a bath to Tara. And Skyla, darling, I been gave you permission to go take your butt to bed. So go get in the bed. I don't care which bed, just a bed. And X all this other junk out. All right. So my plan was to go to the restaurant today. Um, and also try to age up. Please don't sit down and ask her if she wants a bath. She ain't got no choice. Okay? Like, we gonna get this together. This gonna be a well-oiled machine. If I gotta pause this episode or pause this... Uh, <laughs> This game 10,000 different times. We're going to get it together. You are not going to play in no toilet. 
uh-uh. These babies love Braylon, though. I don't know if it's the boys or the girls, but they all got the... Okay, she likes... Okay, she wants to tell a joke about chicken, but... <sighs> all right. So my other option was, what I was trying to say, is I know someone had suggested I could scavenge and do some collectibles. And that, that's a good idea. Don't get me wrong. I do like that. But for some reason, it never feels realistic to me because in real life, you're not going in the world. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I want to go buy this game. Let me go you know, break some rocks and find some stuff. And, you know, it's just not going to happen. And so part of me is like, I don't want to do that because this is like a real, okay, whoa, whoa, calm down, Samantha. I was about to say this is a real life family, but it is a real life family. It's like a family that needs to, um, to go through things and like actually need to figure out a way to make things work. So my other option was, is definitely let Ashley finish doing some cookbooks. And instead of, um, oh, yay, little Tara, she's tired too. So go take a nap, nap. It's nap, nap, mama. Go take a nap. Go take a nap. Actually, go to sleep. Go nighty night. Go nighty night. All right, Braylon. Now, what can you do, sweetheart? Okay. Mommy and daddy need some fun. So while y'all go to sleep. Mommy and daddy going to have some fun. All right. So let's do that. Because <laughs> that's the only thing we could do right now. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to open up this restaurant so we can go and get it popping. But I was thinking like since Ashley is writing these books and stuff, maybe possibility is that we can um, maybe go to a flea market, like whenever they have flea markets and sell the books at the flea market. That way we can kind of control like how much it stuff gets sold for. Because um, right now... We're only getting like three to four dollars for um are we getting it in oh that sounds horrible but yeah look how she walking away like she's like yeah now like right now but um right now we're getting like three to four dollar royalties right now for books and it's just not going to cut it but if you do a flea market thing or even if we get a table and we just go to san machuno and just start to sell start, try to sell books we could do a markup and possibly get like maybe ten dollars a book or twelve dollars a book depending upon what markup we do um are you going to sleep little girl Okay, good. They're all going to sleep. Perfect. We're going to get it together. <laughs> We're going to get it together. And when they're finished getting their fun level in, I'm going to have her go load the dishwasher. Braylon needs to do what? Uh, probably take a quick little shower. And then we're going to head to the restaurant. But um, that was like some options I was thinking of. It's like, hey, we could definitely get a, um, you know what? And let me sell these uh, cribs while we're talking about it. But definitely can get, you know, a, a loan and open up a bar trying to make some money from that uh okay did i not sell this okay that was a weird glitch but i'm gonna take it unless i have multiple cribs um but yeah we can do that or sell books when she writes them um because she's in the process of writing a series of cookbooks that are inspired by her restaurant and being a mom so um braylon you need to get up i, I know it was i know i know she put you to sleep but dude we got work to do we got work to do because we're going to try to get back on our normal day schedule because last episode, that evening time opening was not was not it. OK, Braylon, no, seriously, dude, I need you to get up. Seriously, I need you to get up so we can get to the restaurant. So I'm going to let him take a shower. Ashley's going to actually come over here and start working on her or finish or continue resuming her resume writing for the sneaky chefery and maybe that'll be the first book that we tried to mass publish and and sell mass mass produce and sell on our own anyway so you guys let me know what you think in the comment box if you think that's a good idea i really i'm nervous about getting the loan the atm loan because you know there's definitely going to be some issues with it what's wrong skyla what what is going on you were fine is that bad i just want to make her go back oh shoot can she take a nap just go take a nap just go take a nap why she still keep thinking about food you ate Oh, she's not going to go to sleep, y'all. She's not going to go to sleep. All right. All right. Come over here and come check on Skyla. All right. Somehow she ended up powering through it on her own. I guess I was trying to pause it to make Ashley go check on her, but she ended up going back to sleep. So uh, in the meanwhile, I'm going to let Janae make some friends. Um, Audrina is just good. I'm going to let her just be herself or whatever. And I'm going to let Braylon, you took a shower already? I could have sworn I told him to go take a shower. Okay, I'm going to let him get ready to go to the restaurant. All right, guys, we are at the restaurant, and Braylon's going to go over here and start making his rounds, just kind of welcoming people to the restaurants, checking on table. Um, but, you know, for a four-and-a-half-star restaurant, I'm surprised that we're not a little bit busier than, um, than I feel like we should be. I just felt like we used to have so many people, like we would have to, like, disallow new customers, and it was just, like, insane. And now it feels like no one is showing up. So I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if it's a situation like we're just not... Um, Oh, goodness. Wait, why is it a one star for the time? What's going on? 
They're full. Oh, no. Is she walking out? Oh, I've never had a sim walk out before. Are you kidding me? Wait. I hope you... Wait. Did she leave? Oh, my gosh, y'all. Okay. Well, we got to... Okay. We were in the negative for a second. They, like, straight left because they were upset. Um, okay. We might can't open the restaurant anymore without being here. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work for us anymore. So, um... Maybe I need to just be here every time, which is kind of weird because all of our employees are, are, you know what? Let's double check real quick just to make sure everybody's cool. Okay. Mitchell is unsatisfied. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to come over here and just talk with Mitchell because I mean, I know you're un unhappy right now, but dude, I mean, you're, 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 I'm going to praise him. Um, I'm going to give him an inspirational speech. I'm just going to make sure he knows that I appreciate him, but I really don't have the money to pay him anymore. Now, these people are getting their food, but is it showing? Okay, I'm going to say, is it showing up? Like, yeah, the food is excellent. I don't understand. Like, what is the issue? Everything is good. It's got crystals. Like, it's, it's sparkling. Like, she got her bacon petals. They're good. Everything's normal. This dude ain't got no pants on yet. I'm giving him service. So, it's like, what's the issue? <laughs> Like, seriously, what is the dog on issue? We got a bathroom now so you guys don't have to leave the lot. And Mitchell is still unsatisfied. Well, I'll be honest with y'all. If Mitchell quits, which I hate if he does, because he's been like an employee with us since day one, literally. Um, who's sitting here? Who is sitting here? Scone and a meatless Monte Cristo. Ain't that what they got? They got the same exact thing. But who's sitting here? Okay, that's really odd. Um, anyway, what I was trying to say is uh, if it gets to a point where, um, yeah, Mitchell decides to leave, then I'm just going to have to let him leave because, look, Mitchell, I know you're unhappy, but we're just not making money right now. These tables, I mean, like, you want to get a raise to what? To, to For one table? Because, I mean, it's a possibility he has one table. Oh, they're sitting there. Okay. The, the dude with no pants. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to come over here and try to come tend this bar for a little bit. Um, I guess I could make drinks for people, but we just don't have the money for it. So Adriana's home. So I'm going to bring her over here. Her birthday technically is today, I think. Let's double check. Yeah, her birthday is today. So she'll be aging up. But in the meanwhile, she can kind of come help out at the restaurant because, like I said, she will be part of the management staff. <laughs> We're just going to assume that she's okay with it, but um, hopefully hopefully she's okay with it. I mean, I know we didn't technically have a conversation with her about it, but she's always been interested in helping out the family. So long story short, you know, she's always got her mom's back. So I'm going to come over here and um, let's go manage Christy and praise her really quickly. Y'all, but this is sad. There's nobody here. Oh, she needs to use the bathroom. Okay. All right, girl. All right. And you're tired, uh, which is unusual, but... Not uncommon, that's for sure. So go, oh, I can't get to the bathroom. Use the restroom and flush it. Hopefully she'll flush it without me having to tell her to flush it. Because, I mean, that should just be a given. But these toilets are probably not the best. Because, honestly, when we were trying to cut corners, we cut corners. Oh, my gosh, y'all. The restaurant is 100% empty. They're like the only two people here. What is going on? Do we need to stop? Okay. Huh. All right. So there is an option, which I don't think I can do it right now because, uh, okay, we can't get advertising. Should we get some advertising? Um, I think I'm gonna have to pay for some advertising Man, 120 simoleons a day. Um, all right. You know what? I feel like I'm trying to do like these special, um, situations with the restaurant. Like I'm doing organic, doing more organic food. We up the, we revamped the menu. I added more seating. We got this bar now. Um, you know, I got like little candles on the tables and everything. I'm feeling like we did so much stuff and it's just not working on Mitchell. Seriously, but you want to raise dude and you over here in the trash can. Like who does that? Can I make him wash his hands or something? Uh, what can I do? I can't do anything. Let me see. Mean. Argue about music. Act tough. Shout forbidden words at Mitchell. Mock uncool adult. Well, well, you know what? I appreciate you throwing that away from me, um, Jody. <laughs> I appreciate that, Jody. I really do. Um, is he waiting? Are you going to use your hand? Are you going to wash your hands while you're in there? Because that'll be helpful. She's still in the bathroom. She's like, I guess, freaking out right now. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll let her come sit over here. Y'all, this is embarrassing, though. Like, who does this? This whole... 
I was like so excited about doing, <laughs> this is going to sound like I'm complaining, but I was so excited about doing this bigger restaurant and letting Braylon have his little bar area because I was thinking that it was going to generate so many more people, but I was wrong. I was totally wrong. I'm going to let her just play on her phone for a little bit because I mean, what else is there left to do? Um, I guess if worse comes to worse, we're just going to close down the restaurant. If we're not making money, it makes no sense for me to have employees on the books. And these people are either A, waiting for their food or... I have no idea. And she's like super tense right now. I mean, you know, now I'm looking at her though. I'm like, is it a good, is, is she a good person to have as the, uh, the place has great prices, but you guys hadn't even got your food yet. Um, uh, is she a good person to have to do this job? I mean, she's look at her. Audrey, I need you to do better about your attitude, darling. Braylon, I need you to lecture her. I think we need to talk to her about her attitude. So let me do this real quick. Um, we could adopt as care dependent. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> I mean, I probably know what it is. I just don't feel like trying to figure it out. So friendly, let me compliment her outfit. Let me just try to get on her good side a little bit. More choices. Um, friendly, brighten her day a little bit. Okay, they just became good friends. Good. Oh, gosh, she just straight walked away from the hostess stand. She's like, ain't nothing going on. Tell an outrageous story. I'm just going to talk to her. Um, Y'all, yeah, nobody's coming. To oh, okay, here's some more people. Okay, good. Maybe the advertising helped. I don't know. Whoa. What you got going? Okay, good. Collect. Okay, so I'm going to watch our money real quick. 1021 because I don't think we're going to get, I don't think we're going to get any funds from this, but I was hoping that we would get like tips and stuff. Okay, stop. Stop with the thing. This lady asked for a drink, Braylon. We finally got somebody asking for a drink, so give her a drink. I mean, if anything, it'll help his bartending skill, I guess. Uh, so when we do finally get our bar. Oh, he's talking about, she's talking about the way talk. Okay, I need you to get up, Audrina, and welcome people to the restaurant. Um, oh, no, management, management. Welcome people to the restaurant here. Did she get her drink? And then let's check on the table. This seems so realistic how she just got up like, okay, let me go tell these people hi. <laughs> and then let me come over here and say hi to Joquin. And go check on his table. Then she went right back over there to go sit back down. Girl, can you get yourself together? Adrena, you will be managed. Oh, okay. She's over here talking to Christy. Okay. All right. We are going to disallow new customers because, like I said, it's going to be um, disallow new customers. Uh, even though, I mean, like we, it's like we have a ton coming towards the restaurant. We don't have like a whole rush influx of people coming. So it's, it's not happening like that, unfortunately. Um, and I guess I could. Did that lady ever get her drink? Okay, well, she ordered one from me, and he went to go making it, and then he just kind of sat there. Um, and he's over here jamming to the music, like, I need you to do better, Braylon. I need you to do better. Y'all, this isn't working. This is not working. All right, Ashley, and then, I mean, Audrina, she's hungry, too. Um, I think I'm going to send her home, and uh, in the meanwhile, Braylon, I want to throw her, like, I'm like this episode is not going to have enough time. I already know. And did I forget to start my timer? I did. <laughs> So I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Um, I think we're going to probably get ready to wrap it up anyway. So what I'm going to do is let him finish these last two customers. Uh, we're going to stop doing the restaurant for a little bit. I don't know what's going on with these people's food. I don't know if they're stuck or... I mean, it says like a comp their food, but did they even get their food yet? I'm not, I can't comp anybody's food. We're not making any money. Like we're not making any money. Go use the bathroom. Don't worry about listening to the music. Just go use the bathroom because you look crazy walking around like that with your your pee pee walk, your pee pee dance, your pee pee walk, whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I'll see you guys back at the house. Okay, guys, we are back home. They ended up taking a little bit longer than I thought because even though I disallowed new customers, we still had more show up. So I was trying to give him an opportunity to make some good money. He ended up making like a little over three hundred dollars. It wasn't a lot. It was not a lot, even though it says right here mill profits of one fifty one thousand fifty seven. It wasn't that much. But anyway, Ashley's in the middle of making Audrina's cake right now, which um, I hope she hasn't aged up yet. I feel like it's about to happen any second. Um, but hopefully we can get it done in time. I want her to at least have some type of decent birthday. She's like in such a bad mood right now. And I think the kids are just making it worse. But Braylon is over here kind of like, oh, checking on all of them. Just making sure that they're okay. <laughs> Even though he was at work all that time uh, at the restaurant, rather, he decides to come home and play with the kids. I think it's so sweet. But anyway, Ashley's just finished making uh, Audrina's birthday cake. So let's go on and get this popping real quick before it ends up getting... <laughs> out of hand all right so let's get it put the birthday candles on there come on Audrina hurry up and come blow them out before you age up make a wish and blow out the candles girl come on over here 
Wait, why was she? Wait, okay, y'all. What am I supposed to do about these kids going outside? Like, this is insane. Okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, Braylon's about to go get her anyway. All right, so I'm about to miss Audrina aging up. <laughs> it's like all these tall oh thank you Janae <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna do for her character values because we didn't have her but like one day doing this whole ordeal but um yay thank you Janae oh Janae's being a good little sister oh wait we still ain't blew it out is that it ain't no trick candles is it all right all right I'm sitting there trying to figure out what trait we want to give her because um honestly she's she's um I mean we've We've been watching her grow literally through this series and she definitely fits these bills. She loves reading her books. She doesn't like strangers a lot, but I want her to kind of follow in her mom's footsteps just a little bit. So I'm thinking about giving her the foodie trait. Let's just give her the foodie trait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, she looks like she's happy. Okay, cool. And so then I'm gonna have her Adrena has removed from the team. Okay, that's fine. Let's go pick up a serving. Oh, not you. Not you, little one. Not you. Well, you know what? Yeah, the babies can come get cake. Let them come get a cake and pick up a serving. All right, so I'm just letting everybody get some cake really quickly. Braylon is... <laughs> he's out here dealing with... Aw, little Skyla. But she needs her diaper changed. Like, you're giving her a hug, but can you change her diaper? Can you change her diaper while she's here? Let's change her diaper. She got a stinky diaper. She got green fumes coming from that diaper. Can you change her, please? I appreciate it. No, I guess not. <laughs> He's just going to watch her little stinky diaper butt go up the stairs. I swear, I don't want these kids to get taken from us, but I don't know. Oh, my goodness. All of them have stinky diapers. Oh, my gosh. Change diaper. And then can they get to the... I don't even know if I want them with the cake, y'all. Can we change? Okay, we can... Okay. Wow. I don't know how this is going to work. Braylon might have to just get like a regular nine to five and I hate to do it because this is not the family. This is not their thing, but I don't know how else to do it with these toddlers. I don't. Is he going to go change the diapers? What is he doing? Oh, are they playing with? Oh, oh my gosh. Stop. Oh, I missed it. I was trying to give the, oh, that is so sweet. He gave her some love in. I was trying to get a picture of it and I couldn't pause it quick enough. There's too much action going on in this LP. I'm telling y'all with these toddlers, but look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, thank you, Ejene. Can you change them, Audrina? Oh, look, they're all excited. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's the responsibility for? What was that for? Pick up. Okay, can we change diaper, though? Okay, let's do this, y'all. Because for some reason, change. Oh, okay, who has the diaper? Who has the stinky diaper? Toddler care. Okay. Is are you doing him, Braylon? Yeah. Hug. But we need to change diaper. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna get Audrina to change diapers and do all that stuff because she's the only one that's not really worried about getting any cake. So we're gonna change Braylon's diaper. Um Skyla is still out here. Her diaper needs to be changed as well. And then I'm gonna have to um let me change her diaper. And then actually since wait, which one is this one? Tara is, oh my goodness, Tara, okay, okay, who's, and Ashley went to sleep, y'all, like, she ain't got kids, Ashley, as long as your kids are awake, darling, you awake, you've been at home all day long, your husband should not have to be dealing with this right now, <laughs> he should not have to be dealing with this right now, all right, let's do parenting, we're going to um, discipline recent belief, we're going to be strict, we're going to have to be strict, yeah, no, Oh, goodness. All right, Ashley, I'm going to let you have it, girl. I'm going to let her yell at the baby for making a mess, even though it's probably not what I'd prefer to do. In the meanwhile, though, Audrina, you're going to give, and we're going to lock these doors for these toddlers. They can't go outside this house no more. So let's lock door for everyone. I'm going to say everyone, and then I'm going to allow access to Audrina. And then I'm going to lock this back door. Oh, she's coming in right now. Okay, good. And then as soon as this door closes, pause, we're going to lock door for everyone, but then we're going to allow access to Audrina. And honestly, if I get enough money, what I'm hoping to do is um, get like the, the, the toddler pool, the toddler slide and all those little mods and make like a little playground back here for them. Um, Cause they're going to need something to do besides sitting in this house all cramped up and, and cooped up or whatever, but we need to get money to get a fence. And then once I do that, then I'll, I'll unlock that door because then they could go out in the backyard. I just don't want them in the front and everything like that. It's just, it's too much. It's too much, you know, for them to be all over the place like that. So let's allow access to Ashley. 
and then allow access to Ashley. I got to go through all of these and then do the same thing with Janae because she should be able to go and come as she pleases. Um, and then Janae and then Braylon, of course, he needs to be able to come and go as he please. He a grown man. All right. <laughs> access to Braylon. So now that just leaves the toddlers from being able to go outside. And Ashley, you're going to go discipline this one over here and tell her, uh-uh, no, ma'am. I don't know where you got this paint from, but it ain't working out. Yeah. Oh, we got a plus with the responsibility. See, some of these kids we might have to be a little bit stricter with. We might have to be a little bit stricter with. So I'm going to tell Ta Tara, you need to go find something else to play with. So teach to say you're sorry. And then let's clean this up. Let's clean. Uh-uh. Ashley, why she keep trying to go to bed? What is she doing? Was that a temper tantrum of some sort? Oh, my goodness, y'all. Conflict resolution. Very good. I'm glad that we could teach to say sorry. All right. Good job. Oh, they're stepping all in the paint, y'all. They're stepping all in the paint. Audrina, what are you doing, darling? Okay, let's teach. I was going to say we could teach her how to um, potty, but she is, um, Audrina is going to sleep. So I guess we'll have to do this on next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy these toddlers, though. These little, <laughs> how many more days do we have until they age up? Somebody tell me. What are you about to do? Make a mess. No. Oh, <gasps> it won't let me exit out. It won't let me exit. Where are they getting the paint from? Okay, I'm going to let Braylon go to sleep because he's been working all day long. But I'm going to have to come over here and discipline. Oh, look how he's sitting over there. I'm going to do strict with him too. Yell at for making a mess. But you know what? The mess isn't there anymore. I don't know where the mess went. All right. Thank you, Tara, for being a good little girl. Oh, my God. You can't stay mad at them for too long. I mean, look at them. Look at them. You can't stay mad at them for too long. I mean, you know, seriously, come on now. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Also, don't forget to let me know what you think down in the comment box about future plans for this LP as far as making money, owning the bar, selling our, our cookbooks. Um, if the restaurant doesn't do good like y'all, I really hate to say it, but we might have to sell it. Should we start over? I don't want to. I, my plan for this LP was to always try to make it to five stars and be like, hey, we own a five star restaurant. But we keep hoovering at the four, four and a half. Like, I don't know when we're going to push that five. And I'm afraid like our employees are going to die. The, the top, the top rated employees, the ones that we put the most money into are going to die. And we haven't even gotten to what I would like to have said was our goal. Because my plan for this LP was always to be like, of course, develop Ashley's life. Let her overcome the whole situation with Lamar when she was working at Trophies. But then also to be have be a successful restaurant owner. Make a lot of money. Upgrade her living surroundings, which she did. She upgraded her personal life with Braylon. Um, have more kids. That was never really in my plans for the LP, but it happened. So it's cool. I'm not saying that I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to happen, but it wasn't like part of my plan. I really just wanted her to get to a five-star restaurant. Then I was going to say, okay, this LP is done. But it's probably one of my favorite LPs to play. So I'm not ready to end it right now, even though I know I'm trying to figure out a way to, to squeeze parenthood in the lineup somewhere. But um, I just, I need to figure out where we're going next because the restaurant right now is just not, it's not getting it anymore. Like the last two episodes, we've barely been able to scratch two pennies together. So Definitely something we need to think about. Let me know what you think in the comment box down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.